for this to work, you're going to need a video of the subject pretending to be on their phone and a pre-screened phone recording as well. Drag your subject video onto the timeline in the pre-phone recording above. Now, unlink the clips by right-clicking on Unlink and use the razor tool to cut out any extra ends. For this effect to work, you need to have both clips evenly aligned. Now go to your effects and look up Crop. Drag it onto the pre-phone recording clip and in your effects controls, scale it down a bit to crop out the extra top and bottom. Now go to your effects and look up Color Balance RGB. Drag it onto the pre-phone recording clip. In your effects controls, change the red to zero and mess around with the blue and green until you get a screen color look. Now go to your effects and look up Wave Warp. Drag it onto the pre-phone recording clip. In the effects controls, change the wave type to square, the direction to zero, and the wave height to one, and the width to two. Now go to your effects and look up horizontal flip and drag it onto the pre-phone recording clip. Then in your effects, also look up corner pin and also drag it onto the pre-phone recording clip to change the perspective of the clip. Go to your effects controls and mess around with the X and Y on the lower right and left until you have a phone perspective that suits both clips. Then scroll up and change the opacity between 50 and 60%. Now go to your effects and look up Alpha Glow and drag it onto the pre-phone recording clip. Go to your effects controls and with the eyedropper, change the start and end colors to a screen color on the phone screen and mess around with the glow and brightness until you're satisfied with the look. Now align the pre-phone recording clip with the action of the subject clip. Once you have both clips on matching action, head over to the effects controls to scale the clip. Scale the screen to an appropriate size that matches what the subject is looking at and keyframe it.
Now go to the beginning of the clip and scale it to zero and set another keyframe. This will give the illusion of the hologram appearing. Set a keyframe on the position that matches the scale keyframe. Go to the beginning and change the X and Y positions to give the illusion that the hologram is coming from the phone. And you're done!